Happy Easter! Today I'm doing a video on... We'll be diving into five categories and scoring each of them out of ten. Tell them up and that's the film's overall score. I know this is a childhood film for a lot of people like me, so this is your warning. This film may not be as amazing as you remember. Anyway, let's hop into the story. Our adventure kicks off with E.B., the Easter Bunny's son, who dreams of becoming a drummer instead of inheriting his father's role as the Easter Bunny. He sets off to Hollywood to pursue his passion where he conveniently crosses paths with Fred O'Hare, a lazy slacker who accidentally runs him over. Despite their differences, Fred reluctantly agrees to help E.B. on his quest. Meanwhile, back on Easter Island, E.B.'s dad is worrying about his disappearance and sends his elite squad, the Pink Berries, to fetch him, because every good dad has a backup plan for when his son decides to run away. As E.B. adjusts to life in Hollywood, he auditions for a talent show and lands a gig as the drummer for a rock band. Fred, on the other hand, struggles to balance his own dreams with his responsibilities. Things take a turn when Carlos, a power-hungry chick who wants to be the Easter Bunny, sabotages the factory and captures E.B.'s dad. E.B. and Fred have to team up to save Easter and defeat Carlos. With the help of the Pink Berries and Fred's sister Sam, they begin on their daring rescue mission. At the climax of the film, E.B. and Carlos are about to fight, but E.B. manages to use his drumming talents to outsmart him and save the factory. In the final scene, Fred and E.B. both agree to be co-Easter Bunnies so they can keep Easter alive while still being able to chase their dreams. Now, I'll start with what I like about the film. It's clearly made for kids, and I mean, I watched it as a kid and loved it, so it definitely did its job. There's comic relief and a moral message, you know, it's formulaic in what it does. But ultimately, it's quite predictable and doesn't offer much in terms of originality. And the script is just not good. With lines like this... I didn't like it. I loved it! And this scene where they interrupt a school play and everyone is super happy they're ruining their own kids' performances. Anyway, maybe I'm looking too far into it, but I'm gonna have to give this film's story a 2 out of 10. Okay, so let's start off by saying E.B. is voiced by Russell Brand, who is not at all who I'd imagine, and I don't think it works too well, personally. It does add some flair and humour to the character, but again, I just don't hear the Easter Bunny as a cop in my head. I've seen lots of people disagree with this, but I think James Martin actually did a fair job playing Fred. Even if the delivery was a little naff, he was acting appropriately for a kid's film. Also, I want to quickly say that E.B.'s dad is played by Hugh Laurie, who I think is brilliant, as I'm fairly sure 90% of Americans think he is American. <laughs> but here his acting sounded like he wasn't getting paid enough for it. I'm not saying it was awful, just unenthusiastic. The supporting characters like Carlos and Sam give a good comic relief, but overall I'm afraid to say it's another bad rating, with a 3 out of 10 for the performance. So for cinematography, there are a few shots that I actually do quite like. Like this shot, the camera pushes in to lift the sense of tension and stays pushed in until he's safe and away from the island. I like that. Also in this scene, I love the playing around with us being able to see EB in the box and then switching to what the passersby are seeing. But apart from these two and a couple of others, the cinematography is pretty down the middle with, you know, basic call and response shots whenever people are talking and, and nothing super creative. But it is a fair bit better than the other two categories. So this one gets a five out of 10. Okay, so finally we've got a good one. So I personally find the sound quite charming. The score has a wide range of music from upbeat and catchy stuff to dramatic orchestral pieces. I think the score knows what it's doing. Going back to the sneaking out scene, I love the music here. It's a perfect blend of cheery and exciting mixed with a Mission Impossible kind of fast paced drums that will definitely give kids watching even more of a gripping time. And also, I am a fan of the Foley in this film, which if you don't know what that is, I've got a brilliant explanation of it in my Shutter Island video, which I'll leave just here. Anyway, the Foley during the final fight scene when Evie's trying to take down Carlos, I love that. And it synced up well too. What isn't synced up well that actually really bugged me is the animation and the sound of the drums in the same scene. Just take a listen. And I'm not sure if this is the VFX guys' fault or the soundies, but I just needed to point it out. Right, so I'm relieved to say that for the first good score of the film, the sound gets a 7 out of 10. Okay, you know when a cliche film has a big build-up before fighting the bad guy, who's obviously too strong for the protagonist, so they have a long training montage as a kind of cheap way to show us they've tried hard to win the fight? Well, this film is exactly that. Also, I'm not saying Rocky's cliche, because that's the film that popularised it. Anyway, cheap writing side, let's take a look at it. So one thing I actually really like is how it's a pretty slow-paced montage to begin with. It actually allows a comedy film to be funny in these moments. It doesn't actually pick up the pace, but the montage takes place over a period of like less than a day, so I think that's understandable. Now, let's quickly talk about the VFX. I think the fur on all the rabbits does its job well, 
It looks cute, but most of all, it looks real, even if the rest of them is pretty cartoonish. And I think the animators have got the way that the bunnies and the chicks move down to a T. The VFX are a small saving grace for the editing. Also, I feel the compositing of Fred into the CGI factory is really well done. But of course, it's not perfect. Like with this scene in the beginning, when young EB is stealing the marshmallows, the number of how many he's actually got in his arms changes all the time. And for VFX, continuity errors are pretty easy to avoid. So with all this said and done, I'd give the editing a good six out of 10. Before we unveil the total score, I want to say, please comment below what aspects you enjoyed and what you didn't find as entertaining. And let me know, what did I miss? To conclude, the final score for Hop is 23. I hope you have a wonderful, relaxed Easter, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.